the first on stage is the current executive director of Wikimedia Argentina. She has been part of the Wikimedia movement since 2014. She's also part of the Roles and Responsibility Working Group for the Wikimedia Strategy Process. Make her feel welcome. A big applaud for Ana Torres. So maybe you can have a seat there? Uh, sure. Yeah, so we, so we mix a little bit. Um, our next on stage is the board member from Tavan. She's a program committee member of ESAP 2018 and now a team member of Community Health Working Group. A big hand for Jamie Lynn. Woohoo! Please have a seat. Yes, and then we have the co-founder and board member of Open Foundation West Africa. He is also a member of Resource Allocation Working Group for the Moment Strategy, and, and he also 2017's Wikimedia of the Year. Yeah, he's been a member of the Moment for seven years. Welcome, Felix Nordi. And last but not least, he's active in. Uh, active member of the international Wikimedia LGBT plus community in the user group and that also organized community projects around peace and social justice uh, within Wikimedia Austria. He has been active in the moment since 2005. Welcome Thomas Schallhardt. You guys are, are so eager to be here. We didn't even have a chance to say your name before you were up here sitting down and like, woohoo, let's, <laughs> let's roll, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's quite interesting to be here and so happy to talk about how we can link the SDGs to um, Wikimedia. Yeah, we're super, super happy to have all four of you here. So a big welcome. Thank you. So my first question is going to Anna. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> What, uh, uh, what is your main focus for the next year within your region with specific regards, of course, to the SDGs? Okay, um, first of all, I want to say that I'm very happy to see that this year Wikimedia theme is about the global goals. I think that working accordingly to these goals can help us build the movement that we all want to see. Uh, uh, when it comes to, to talk about um, what happens in, in Argentina in particular and also in Latin America, it's difficult for someone like me that lives in Latin America to choose the most relevant goal among all of these uh, because none of them has been achieved so far and so, a lot of them are very far to be achieved even in, by 2030. But when it comes to describe what we do in Argentina in, in the region, I think that there are two of them that are but a lot, I mean, they describe very well what we are doing today. The first one is um, the global goal number 10. It's about reducing inequalities. I think that you're talking about inequalities, talking about a problem that happens all around the world. Um, but uh, even this goal is very focused on an economic and social way. Reducing inequality is what drives our programs and our mission in Argentina. And we do it in four main perspectives. The first one is reducing inequality in access to knowledge. To do this, we develop projects uh, to create content with, very, with three main characteristics, a very specific characteristics. The first one has to be content that is locally relevant. This is super important for us. The second one is content that is created from the global south. And the third one is in our own language. And to reach as much as the society as possible. We partner with Strategic Alice, uh, as also the global goal number 17, I think, it's about partnerships. Uh, um, in order, I mean, despite the challenges that we have in order to reach more people. And when it comes to challenges and explaining about what challenges are we facing, um, just in numbers of the United Nations, 600 million young people today are still lacking the minimum level of literacy. Uh, that means there's people who cannot read, cannot write. Um, I'm wondering how we can make this global, um, this Wikimedia movement, the Wikimedia movement, more accessible for everybody, really for everybody around the world. Uh, the other part about reducing inequality is about um, 
uh, inequalities regarding who writes the, the, the knowledge. I mean, it's fair that we uh, in Latin America, the ones that we have well-established communities are the ones writing the knowledge for the rest of Latin America. I don't know how can we make sure that those people who are not in the movement yet feel that they have voice and what they have to say is important for all the world. So how can we accompany them is something that we always question. I mean, it's a question that uh, we, I wanted to bring into this discussion. On the other hand, we, we are currently releasing existing, um, uh, the existing inequalities in access to quality education. We do it, of course, by promoting capa capabilities and uh, skills for teachers and students, not just um, regarding um, uh, we do it by uh, uh, doing projects in the schools and, and, uh, and not only online content by creating online content, but also offline, uh, inform I mean, on offline projects. And of course, we're talking about inequalities. Uh, it's, uh, it's doing it in this movement about gender equality. I think that this movement is so um, doing a lot of things about to address this issue that is a very important one. We want to continue to break the limit the, the barriers that limit the participation of women, but not just women, also those people has been historically excluded of this movement. Um, because we need a diverse movement, and we need that the decision making of this movement needs to have an inclusive and diverse uh, standards. Um, just to close, I want to, 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 to also um, talk about uh, very small and a very small way to talk about another go global goal that is super significant for us, which is number 16, is peace, justice, and strong institutions. For us, uh, the Wikimedia projects are not just a source of information. Uh, the Wikimedia projects are a, are a civic tool for education and to build global citizenship. Wikimedia Argentina has a huge program on human rights. Uh, this cross cuts all over uh, all, everything that we do in our organization is for, because of three main reasons. First, for us, free knowledge is of human rights. Um, second, we cannot reduce uh, inequalities if we don't know our rights. And third, of course, the Argentina society, the essence of the Argentina society is built on human rights. Um, so I, I just want to, to, to close this presentation, I mean, little presentation I've, de I've done uh, saying that um, advocating for free knowledge, advocating for freedom of speech, and making, trying to make um, this uh, movement uh, uh, more equal. It's uh, something that we are committed to, and I think that it's, uh, it's, it's needed to build more democratic society, and it's an opportunity that we as in Argentina don't want to miss, and I think that the movement shouldn't miss it too, either. Thank you so much, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, Felix, I've been noticing that you are nodding quite a lot when, when Anna was talking. Uh, coming from West, West Africa, are these uh, similar challenges to the ones that you are facing? Yeah, honestly, the SDGs are at not they are not at a limit where we can say we've attained everything from my continent. Our president is currently an ambassador for the SDG on the continent, and he's doing quite an amazing work um, when it comes to the SDGs. However, we're nowhere near achieving any of the SDG goals. Um, but I wanted to talk more about the um, problems in West Africa in relation to what we do on Wikipedia. And so some of these problems, well, I would say, the basic thing that we need to do as Wikimedians is first of all to create awareness. Because none of the things that we're doing here is far away from awareness. The, we're talking about the SDGs today because it's critical for us to show people what is there so that they can be able to play a role in achieving the SDG goals. Now Wikimedia provides that unique platform already. We provide the base to provide all the knowledge. Yeah. But how are we telling the people that need to access this knowledge? And that's a big problem. We have the notion that Wikipedia can be a source of reference to people and people can learn about Wikipedia through referrals. But not everybody. Imagine the little guy in my village who wants to know about Wikipedia would never know because in his mind, the only thing he can do is to search Google. 
right? But if we deliberately go out there and run campaigns that, are, can, that can actually onboard people who are interested in knowledge seeking, then that is the way we, we are able to change all these things. So for me, it's very critical, first of all, to talk about awareness, because we are assuming that the fact that Wikipedia exists, everybody knows about Wikipedia. But not just everybody can know that Wikipedia actually exists and they can use. And so it's fundamental to create awareness about Wikipedia, which in turn affects the SDGs, because the SDGs can only work when people know about them. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is knowledge forms. It, 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 it's as if this movement, we have not recognized that knowledge are in different forms. At the moment, academia only allows us to accept knowledge in written forms. Does that mean that we are trying to save the sum of some human knowledge and not the sum of all human knowledge as we strive to achieve? This is a question that we need to think about. Because I think the purpose of Wikimedia is to capture the world's knowledge, the whole world, not just some people's knowledge. But at the moment, what it seems that we're doing is capturing the sum of some people's knowledge. We want to attain the, we want to reach a stage where we can say that my knowledge exists on Wikipedia and every sort of knowledge that exists in the world exists on Wikipedia. That is the time that we will truly achieve the quality of education that exists in the SDG4. As said by Seneca, um, we learn for life, not for school. As he said in Latin, non scholai um, said um, um, vitae decimus. We don't learn because we're learning to attain a job, but we learn because learning is dynamic and it improves our lives each time that we come against um, a new opportunity. And that is very critical for human living, right? So if we can't capture that story of the hero from my country, for somebody to learn about my culture, then there's still some part of the puzzle that is still missing. Yeah. And this is what we're striving, we're, we're striving to achieve. Big hand. Big hand. Thank you, Felix. Very interesting. Thomas, are you seeing some kind of the same? You were active in the LGBT uh, community. Mm -hmm. And how can you see that? Are there the same challenges for you? Or what kind of challenging do you see? Um, well, I will also mostly refer to goal four, quality of education. Um, LGBTI people, unfortunately, are not directly mentioned in the SDGs. They were lobbied out, unfortunately. Um, but um, they are kind of hidden in the SDGs in a few places. And one of them is goal four, that is about inclusive education. And there would also, again, like Felix just said, uh, relate to that. So when we talk about creating the sum of all knowledge, we should also include queer knowledge, and we should include queer people in our movement. Um, we have massive uh, misrepresentations in, in our movement at, at the moment. The Global South is less represented than the Global North. Uh, women are less represented than men, and minorities uh, uh, have always the challenge to, to be represented, and queer people are one of them. And it gets even more apparent when we go intersectional and we talk about queer women or queer people of color or queer people from the global south. Um, and that these people are not represented is not because they don't want to be represented, it's because there are structures that hinder them, and we need to tackle these structures. And if we talk about LGBTI issues, this, these structures are of course, homo and transphobia within our community, but also in society in general that we need to work with and tackle. Um, but also stuff like, um, like that queer knowledge very often happens in the underground. Uh, queer history has always been a history of hiding and of, of kind of creating safe spaces within, within the community. And this kind of knowledge we need, we need to actively seek out. It will not just come to us. Um, it's not mainstream knowledge. Um, so we need to create projects and initiatives that tackle this. We need to involve more LGBTI people in our movement. We need a queer week gap. We, we need projects like queer people in red. We need uh, more things like that. Um, our Wikimedia LGBT plus user group um, tackles a lot of that. We are growing a lot in, at the moment. We're trying to involve more queer people into our movement by organizing community projects for queer people, we're trying to get queer people who are already in our movement to write about queer content. Um, so there are different things that we can do and in the end maybe we will achieve um, a more inclusive way of, of looking at, uh, at the work that we do. For example, when we have 
uh, have uh, topics on sexual health that also relates to goal three, that we should have good health and well-being. LGBTI people are especially vulnerable to, um, to not getting the health care that they, that they, that they uh, would need because there's a lack of information, there's a lack, lack of access uh, in a lot of places. And if Wikipedia has a queer perspective on sexual health in articles, that would already change a lot. So there's a lot to do. Thank you. It's great to hear that it's growing, the movement anyway, even though there are still many gaps. Yeah. Jamie, Hi. Uh, you're coming from Taiwan. Yeah. What is the biggest challenge in your region? Well, I would say if it's come to uh, Chinese Wikipedia, because uh, Chinese P Wikipedia is a group of um, people come from different region and different country, like uh, Taiwanese editors, Chinese editors, uh, Hong, Kong, uh, Hong Kong news editors, and editors in Singapore or all over the world. They edit together. And I think the difficulties that uh, we face on Chinese Wikipedia is related to maybe the mixture with SDGs 3, 5, 10, and 16. Because um, I will just say it's a community health issue. Like, different people have different point of view. And in Chinese Wikipedia, the gender ratio is mm, 9 to 1. So nine male Wikipedians, one female Wikipedian. And most of female Wikipedians suffer from sexual harassment, sometimes bully. Because they just say, oh, you have girls. We don't think you can do this. But the, but the female Wikipedians, they do contribute a lot. So this kind of, uh, how to say it? it mm, poor behavior? Well, just in fact, the community health in, our, uh, in Chinese Wikipedia. And also, because you know, we come from different regions, we have a different point of view, and not all the uh, region they can upload their uh, information and can be shown, can be seen in the international platform. So when we have debate, especially for some um, articles, it's very hard to have very equal communication between each other. Yeah, and so for if it comes to our region, because I'm a committee member of the ESEAP, the East Asia, East Southeast Asia, and Pan Pacific area. In our area, the chapters or the user group are different community. We have different, um, how to say, different maturity. Yeah, so sometimes our language are very different. Not everyone is good at communicating in English, or for them, they don't know, they even don't know that foundation is this. It's very hard for us to cooperate with each other, so this is related to the uh, SDG 17. But we do need to just cooperate with each other and help each other to make our own region become better and better and share the experience with each other. But I do face a difficulty to communicate with different community Especially, okay, English is not our mouth tongue. And also, uh, the education we accept and all the experience we have, totally different. Yeah, so, yeah, but we still work on it. But so, for Wikimedia Taiwan, I think it's a very warm place. Of course, we need to improve the um, gender equity in our society, but overall, I will say, okay, we need to improve the community health part and also the uh, partnership part. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, thank you all four of you for providing us with greater insights about your challenges. And I would recommend all of you, if you're interested in getting involved or helping Felix, uh, Anna, Jamie or Thomas in their work, please, uh, you know, get in touch with them, either here at the event or afterwards. Sorry, guys, I haven't checked this one with, uh, with you, but uh, I, I assume it's okay. Happy to help always. So yeah. uh, feel free to contact them afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. And also, we want to show a Wikimedia oh, Sweden, we want to show appreciation to you and also donated some money to the UNDP. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Can I have a one? Yeah, of course.